present the documents or you can't invest. That's a message the city alderman is sending after a nonprofit says it's being denied access to purchase LRA property. News 4 told you about the organization's plan to help revitalize a section of the O'Fallon neighborhood on, on Florissant Avenue. Ashley Lincoln has more after speaking with both parties involved. But everywhere you turn now, there are vacant buildings. Helen Hunt, an O'Fallon neighborhood resident for 25 years, says it's heartbreaking to see the state of her community. The quality of life has gone down. Tachara Masimba with the Black Power Blueprint, a nonprofit, says they are trying to do their part in revitalizing the community. News 4 showed you last year when the group constructed an outdoor multi-use courtyard. Masimba says the city of St. Louis is delaying their plans for future development. This community has been uh, the victim of uh, economic extraction. The group is putting blame on the LRA and Alderman John Muhammad for discouraging smaller developers by granting larger ones to LRA properties. The LRA has refused uh, to approve the purchase of two LRA properties, actually three LRA properties, uh, right here on West Florissant. The group claims Alderman Muhammad refuses to move forward with key documents to complete the sale of three LRA properties. Blueprint says they didn't have an issue with the document after purchasing at least five LRA properties in the past. Every plan that we have is to address, you know what I'm saying, the disparities, business, you know, jobs, feed, clothe, house yourself. I spoke with Alderman Muhammad over the phone. It's unfortunate that this is what it's come to. He says he wants the documents to see a plan for the usage of these properties. I told them that they need to figure out a plan, every usage of the property they want to buy, mm -hmm. present that plan to me, if they operate, and move forward. Muhammad says he's not deterring smaller developers, but wants to know their intentions for investing in the O'Fallon community. That's not going to stop me from demanding transparency, accountability, and strategic planning when it comes to development on a major road in my world. And this organization tells me that they plan to use this space as retail space and also possibly open up a natural food store. Now, again, the alderman telling us that he just wants to see this plan mapped out before they move to the next step. Reporting live tonight in downtown, Ashley Lincoln, News 4.